the speed of light is uh, basically as fast as you ever get. What is it in, in American units? Something like 186,000 miles a second. But in our clouds, we can slow them down to 38 miles an hour. That's what we did in our first experiments. And then we actually slowed them down all the way to, to one mile an hour. And then you can actually, you can basically crawl faster than light. But what we do is we take a bunch of atoms and we use uh, what are called sodium atoms. It's actually what you have in table salt. And then we, uh, of course, manipulate these atoms in very special ways with uh, laser beams. And then we can cool the atoms down to a few billionth of a degree above absolute zero. So that's, of course, really freezing cold. It's actually the coldest place in the universe. And then once we create a cloud of such really cold atoms, we illuminate that cloud with one laser beam. And then we send a light pulse in uh, into the cloud from the other side. And we can now slow that light pulse down to the speed of a bicycle. And it sort of chucks along. And then if we feel like it, we can actually completely stop that light pulse inside our atom cloud. And then leave it there for a while, park it there, and then when we feel like it, we can send the light pulse back on its way, revive it, regenerate it, and out it comes. What we are seeing is actually the atom cooler, really, because uh, what we, uh, as I mentioned, we get this really cold, we create these really cold atoms, and we, use, we need laser beams to do that. And then eventually all these uh, laser beams that we see, you know, they're really running around, crisscrossing the whole uh, optics table. And they all converge on the main vacuum chamber where the action is happening. And then we have up here behind, we have a very special atom source. That's where the sodium atoms are coming from. And they are hot to start with. We actually have to heat them to create a gas of sodium atoms. And at the time when we started to go after cold atoms, I did not have a clue that some years later I would start to look at slow light pulses. And that's really an example of if you get your hands on an exciting new system, that you start, you start to poke it and see what comes out. And, and, and what you really hope is that something totally unexpected, totally exciting will come out. And, and I, I think that's what happened in this case.